Hi, everybody, and welcome to the start of a new series. This is Create Above and Beyond, and I settled on this because I like to have a goal. And few mod packs I've seen have a goal so defined as this one. We need to go from this, from having nothing, to building a rocket ship, primarily focused on using creates in order to do that. And we gotta go to the moon, and that's the objective. And create is so cool. I've been having a good time with it recently in other series, in the one block series that we just did. And I think it'll be fun to go even more in depth here. This is a mod pack that is made by the makers of the create mod. So I feel like they come with a little bit of a quality assurance with them. And so we have to follow the quests and uh, work our way from, you know, punching a tree all the way up to building a rocket ship. The cinematic, the trailer that they made for this mod pack is just so bonkers. It's like, oh my goodness, how could I, how could I not? be interested in, in trying this out. So it's not just create, there are, you know, 140 mods or so involved in the pack, but it's kind of focused around creates. And we have a whole quest progression here where we could read through all these. The, the gist of it is, right, we have this overview here and I've punched a tree, which is fantastic. Now I get apple cider in return. Why you know submit? Oh, I just needed to collect the reward. <laughs> I know how things work. Welcome to the overview. You can always come back here to catch up on your current position in the progression of technology. If you look closely, your journey to the moon completes the final step of the way on the right side. So we need to go from here all the way to surface of the moon. And uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of work, probably. But the gist is you have places where you can buy things or sell things for currency and you can automate these between the bulletin board where you can get currency in exchange for doing quests, which you can then use to buy professions, which allow you to sell materials in order to get money back. And then you can use these shipments to take that money and you can automatically buy different resources with them. And you can also buy more, you know, one-off resources here in the Hello. Yes, I know that it's very interesting and I'm glad you agree with that. Um, and then of course, over here, we have all of the, you know, the quest and progression to get us from the ground to the moon. So if we hit this, it should unlock chapter one over in here. And we can actually start going through the progression tree and all of that and start making our way. So welcome everybody to Create Above and Beyond. Make sure to like the video for the start of a new series. First things first, to get on our way here, really in the overview, there's kind of a preparations thing. So we might as well start working towards like the basic create resources here. And then after that, we can really jump into chapter one, or I suppose we can, you know, jump into chapter one by doing all this. But the idea here is like essentially automating all of these materials in order to be able to get them in, in very large quantities. I believe we do have have um, applied energistics. I don't think refined storage is part of the pack. Let me see at refined. Nope, we have no refined storage. It's gonna be applied energistics. So we're gonna have to deal with channels and all of that stuff. Hey, why don't I make some basic tools? Sorry, there's a lot to cover in terms of like all the different features and things like that. Let me just pickaxe and go get some stone to begin with here. Also, it's probably gonna get dark pretty soon and I'm gonna be like completely not ready for anything. Any sheep? What up sheeples? Can you uh, help me out around? Around here. What a nice little biome though to start off in. Just a, a pretty area and I'm probably going to be more focused on you know the utility side of things and just making the necessary resources. I don't know if we'll end up having the uh, the prettiest base but you know we'll see how the whole thing goes I suppose. But for now why don't I go and collect myself a little bit of stone and uh, we'll kind of you know get on our way here with some basic resources. I like how it's basically like the start of, you know, doing anything interesting with the quest is like, just go and go and do the usual, go, you know, go, be, go beat the dragon. Make sure you get all the basic stuff out of the way and then come back to us and, and talk to us once you're ready to, I don't know, make some freaking machinery and you're kind of, you're well capitalized, you got money, you got things to do there. I could actually look at the bulletin board and see what sort of quests I'm interested in in trying to pursue early on. I guess it's worth taking a look. Let me see. So bulletin board, revenge, defeat 
pillagers. Okay, find some bone stuff. Uh, okay, breed 10 animals. You get 15 silver coins. That's pretty good. And then harvest some crops. So there's like some basic stuff. Oh, if I just get a bunch of dirt, I can get silver from that. If I get a bunch of the different types of rocks. Okay, get some silver there. Get all the different types of saplings. Okay, so some... Something suffocate? Oh, is that an applied energistics meteor right there? A squid managed to drown underwater? I don't really know how that works, but sorry that it happened to you, bud. Um, you should learn to breathe better underwater, like, uh, I don't know, like squids do, I suppose. This is a very pretty area, though. I feel like it's not actually just a bad starting point for us to kind of chill around here. It's just a nice pretty plains biome doesn't seem like an issue to me hey you know what this is a this is a fancy dark oak tree we could wait and we could see if we get any saplings if i was to uh say take the tree down and not just leave it floating like i did the other tree at the starting area oh wait we get quick leaf decay okay that's actually really nice that's really nice it's just kind of a pain on the uh taller trees but hey we got one of our saplings we're well on our way to getting our money now let's go i just need to find some like shorter trees actually you know what i bet if i do this and get some leaf decay here yeah and then we get an oak sapling dude we are well on our way to getting some big money i just oh what's that over there looks like a little structure i don't know if it's worth finding a village i'm not sure if the villages are like any different if they have any villagers that have some fancy like custom professions and stuff like that that we can use to trade for other things but let's check this place out Ooh, loot chest Ooh, powerful what the heck dude uh did i just stumble across like something unusual did i get lucky here this is kind of sick so i think this uh the looter mod is really cool actually if you're on a oh my god dude there's like a whole dungeon down here what the looter mod is really cool if you're on a server because what it does is it makes these chests like dependent on a per player basis. So I might have looted this, but someone else could like wander in here and they would be able to loot this as well. It's it's unique per player. So it's really cool. I want to try this. Wait, what's down here? I'm not going to die, am I? It's Oh, we got coal. Okay, that's pretty cool. Wait, how far down is this going to go? Oh, this is coal, man. Oh my god, we're still go- oh my god, wait, don't drop me off into a bed. <gasps> now why would you go- <gasps> What the frick, dude? I'm not gonna die, am I? I'm not gonna die, am I? I'm not gonna die. I don't have any water. I don't have any water. I don't have any water! At first, I thought that noise was an ambient sound in my game. That was just a very loud uh, helicopter or jet flying overhead, but it took me a moment to realize that it wasn't relating to my, uh, my situation here. Hey, there's another looter chest. You think it has food in it? I think I could use some of that because I don't really want to lose the diamonds. I don't like this. I don't, I don't like this. Not one bit. Uh, hey, oh, do we have food? Yeah, we got some cooked cod. We got some of this. Let's grab some of this buddy card pack. Buddy old pal, we got a rubber ducky. I should leave. I should leave here. Uh, uh, buddy cards and acquire hardware. Hey, you know what I should do? I should just block this off and then I actually do have a way to transport back and forth. It's a good way to go down. I didn't have to mine for anything, but uh, let me, jeez, bro. Wow, that was a... Uh, it was dangerous, man. It was real dangerous right there. This is a lot of coal. Yeah, it's good, good supply here. Thank you for this. What a cool little mine shaft that we started off with. Jeez, a little bit of iron, dude. You know, pretty cool. Let me collect some of this and, and make myself perhaps some iron tools as well and smelt up some of the iron. Maybe we got lucky just a little bit with the way that some of this generated or I could see it was gonna be, it was gonna go badly. <sighs> Bro, what is the stuff? Is it the, what is the stuff? Broken stone. Okay, this broken stone is the stuff that's like danger. I, I'm gonna end up like falling through it down to some big old cave. Oh, do the oh the pots have stuff? I kind of should have expected. You guys came here for tech and machinery. You're getting you're getting exploration instead. <laughs> I mean, we do need to get resources, obviously, before we can really, you know, get into making any automation or anything like that. But yeah, uh, shall we make a little maybe 
furnace here really quickly. I don't have uh, too much stone. I'm gonna need a little bit of that. Let me get a little bit of stone, make a furnace, smelt up some of that stuff, and then, ooh, some more iron. Andesite's also gonna be good. We need to get granite, andesite, all that stuff for one of those bounty challenges as well. So, you know, wait, wait, oh, hold on. It directly drops. I'm not a fan of this, having to watch the ground on which you are walking because it may simply collapse. Can you re-put these down? You can. Bruh, bruh, this is a little ridiculous, don't you think? All right, this is a little bit ridiculous now. Okay, let me make a furnace. I don't know if I can smelt these up. I hope I don't. I'm not being forced by the pack into... No, okay. I didn't know if I was gonna be forced into doing create machinery before I would even be able to do this stuff. So there are other sub menus here. One of them goes into metallurgy. And it's not like any quests where you have to submit things. It just kind of says, it guides you through the process of like how you can go from the ores to the ingots, right? And like, uh, it, so it tells you, you can do like three to six on crushing, which seems wild. You can six X your ores with crushing because you would go to dust and then from the dust, you would smelt it and it would go, you know, back up, which I don't know. It's a bit of an entangled web here of, of stuff. Looks a bit like trying to solve a crime, but anyway, like we can do that. And then, you know, if you have fortune, you get extra mining tool one-to-one. -one. And now we have the crushed ore, cool, which then unlocks the different process. Right now I'm doing smelting. So I don't know why that says one to three. I'm getting nuggets. I now know why it's saying the things that it's saying. Oh God. Oh no. Oh, we really got to get create up and running. One to three nuggets per ore. I'm getting a one third yield. Oh no, they were not joke. Oh, okay, so. Oh, right. So we need to go the. Uh, so uh, we gotta go crushing wheels, obviously. Wait, pulver. Uh, one to six. One to three to six. So I guess crushing is pretty good. And then we gotta go into tinkers after that or foundry melting or superheated mixing. I know tinkers, so I'll probably do tinkers, but oh, they've really, they've gone and jumbled up the whole system here, which I did not expect to have happen. I kind of feel like, can I sit in a rubber duck? I want to sit in a rubber ducky here and... <laughs> Wait, can I just right click it? And make no, no, I can't. Uh, this is just great. Let me eat some more food. Oh my God, dude. Oh, they've really ruined my life on this one. I've gotten a whopping two more iron. Turns out the iron that I've acquired here is like significantly more valuable than I had uh, anticipated. So I guess there's that. I'll make an iron sword on top of it, but hopefully we'll get diamond. Oh God, dude. Are diamonds gonna be some other wonky weird thing as well? Or are diamonds gonna be more straightforward? God, I hope diamonds are more straightforward. I'm going to be a very sad, sad boy here. All right, well, should we do the X? Or should I just make a chest plate? I'm gonna go chest plate actually, even though we'll probably end up finding something that's better suited now that I do this. So there we go. I'll be able to defend myself just a, a little bit here, but dang, dude. Guess uh, let me mine up some more coal and just maybe explore underground a little bit. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Yo, money! I found money! This is a very exciting thing. Maybe I should just like set up a house inside of the house. The classic Jardon using a structure that already exists and is pre-generated in the world in order to uh, have a house. That's a classic Jardon move, but this does give us the ability to just like quickly go, you know, up and down, um, back and forth between the mine and hopefully uh, be able to more easily like, you know, loot. Well, it is nighttime and I've got no wool. So maybe it's not the worst time in the world to just say, hey, let's set up a little temporary place here. And also I already have a fancy looking chest that I can store things in and now I can try to go get some resources underground and also see what we got in there. Ah, oh, rotten flesh, oh, so good. Wow, look, the moon looks so cool. Um, Yeah, let's sort things out for a moment. Oh good, it's daytime again. Also, it's feeling a little brisk this morning. Did you know that if you're feeling a little bit uh, chilly, you'll be able to get this quality content jacket 
and other stuff as part of the new drop starting on March 16th at qualitycontent.com. You know, check it out. Should be pretty cool stuff. Look, is that, what are those? Are those peacocks? That's kind of cool. I gotta put my rubber ducky down for, you know, good, good luck here. Let's put it right here. That way we can click it whenever we want and everything will be really nice and good. I'm keeping some of the stuff on me. I think I need to get like some kind of food source. At least just a little more food items before I go back down again. How does peacock taste? They probably they probably don't drop food or if they do. Uh, well, probably quite gamey. I wonder if I can find any. Oh, I wanted to see what, what's the buddy cards. Oinky, does anyone smell bacon? Base set three, wheat. What is this? They're like trading, they're Minecraft trading cards. Oh my God, it's gonna clog the inventory. Lucky pull, what? They made everything, probably. Base set 26, don't eat her, she's too precious. Did I get like some crazy, I got a crazy pull? Bro, can I send these to PSA? Get them graded, sell them on eBay? Millions of dollars? These are going to occupy so much inventory space. Oh my God. Oh dude, I must've gotten like, oh wait, I got more creator cards. Bro, who's gonna buy these from me though? Isn't the reason to pull these so I can flip them from big cash? The world though. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna, should I bring this in case I find an anvil and then I can make a bow and stuff? Yeah, yeah, okay. I need to keep track of my cords <laughs> so I don't lose track. And then, or can I waypoint? No. There's probably a way to waypoint, but we don't have the minimap, so, hmm. Maybe the entire idea here is you're a little bit more on your own in your quest to get to the moon. There's some ores over here, though. I don't know what, the, is this a nest with eggs? Okay, I gotta be really careful. If you step on it, it's probably not good, and I would never, never forget, ow. I would never forgive myself. I may have forgotten to turn on toggle sprint, by the way. What is this? Oh, right, copper ore. We are definitely gonna need some of that. I can't wait for, ah, oh, it's so cool how it like oxidizes when it's exposed. But at the end of the day, it all drops the same resource. But we're gonna need a lot of that. It's gonna drop nuggets. It's gonna drop nuggets. Oh, it's all gonna drop nuggets. It's excruciating pain right now. Such pain. It's gonna take so many of these. I gotta get. I gotta get a Tinker's Construct set up like ASAP. Yo, are you laying peacock eggs? Hold on a minute. Hey, what's up? Oh, a pea fowl. A pea fowl egg, spawn chance 30%. Hmm, that's kind of cool. Do I like, what? Mystery egg? Hold on. It's like a mystery unboxing. Is that what's happening here? I take this and then I, I feel badly because it's, you know, probably the poor bird has put their heart and soul into this and I'm just walking over like, it's mine now. What happens if I do this? Do I, what do I do? How do I make it, ha oh, I bet it has to stay in the nest in order to hatch. I bet you that's what it is. It's like it incubates or something like that. I wonder if it's sensitive to wild, oh, wild carrots, food. Yo, let's go. I love wild carrots that are growing, not even in farmland. Thank goodness we got a little bit of a food source going on here. Okay, wait, is it another one of the same houses though that's gonna have a mine shaft under it? Or is it a more complete house that I should actually take all my stuff and go move into? is the question here. This is a pretty little house. This would be, this would be so me to just like dig down underneath this and make just, you know, an underground base. Yo, a bla wait, it's a blaze burner that's already set up? That's actually kind of a huge pole. I could just, you know, live here. It's kind of small, but that's why you make the basement and you just live in the basement. It's like a nice, pretty wooded area that's got, you know, a lot of stuff. What a nice, you know, house. <laughs> it's very pretty. It's tempting. It's very tempting at the end of the day, especially with me not getting, wanting to get like too far away from my other house and then getting lost. It'd be very embarrassing if I lose my, you know, at least I wouldn't lose my diamonds, but my trading cards would be a heck of a loss. Oh, frick, dude. I really should just shear the sheep because we haven't seen that many, so it'd be kind of wasteful to just slay them. So I'm gonna, it's okay. I should get enough, n I don't have any iron on me. Ah, oh, God dang it, dude. I'm gonna need to find some more iron and get some shears. I do not want to slay them. I want to be a good person, even if it's so tedious to be able to get any sort of iron resources at this very moment. But I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a good person. All right, I'm gonna shear you. I'm not gonna slay you in order to get a bed. I'll be back. I'll be back. Just you wait and see. There's another thing over here. What is this? Does this? <gasps> Yo, you can just find to create stuff chilling out in the world. 
oh, this is really cool. Okay, like, this is actually really, really cool because this will help with some of like the preparation work that goes into the challenges. We can just find it. I shall see, I don't actually know what this is. I'm like versed enough on the basics of create, but some of the stuff I don't know, like what's going over the cogwheel there was a wooden bracket. See, I'm, I'm not familiar with that. I know what the millstone is. And that was more of the collapsing stones. <laughs> Freaking heck. Anything under there? Anything lurking underneath? A windmill bearing. So it's like the relics of a windmill and the radial chassis. And then we've also got the sail frames, but not the, not the sails inside of them themselves um but it's all i feel like it's worth getting especially at this early stage we might as well collect some stuff because then we'd be able to obviously one of the early things that you have to do with create is be able to start generating uh stress and we want to be really stressed around here yo what are you another fancy bird with a fancy egg sure i'll just pick it up it's mine now a liar bird. Dude, you, you gonna lie to me, bro? You lie? Why are you lying, dude? He's walking away. He's just like, yep, you can have that. Are those storks over there in the water? Dude, there's some, and they're laying <laughs> eggs all over the place. Just eggs for days. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, a heron. Okay, uh, it's all spawn chance 30%, I guess. All right, don't mind if I do. Just, you know, snagging your eggs really quickly. No big deal. Kind of want to look around and see if there's any exposed iron ore veins anywhere but i just want to i want to see if i can go and yoink some more food from over here and then maybe i'll just head back home and try to process some stuff i realize yes i could probably slay them but i i don't know if we'd actually be able to eat or not mostly seeds here it looks like but i guess we can plant them i bet they'll come into play at a later date we're about to be caught out at nighttime with no bed and not a great deal of defense so we're looking on the plus side, I can probably get uh, spider kills and get string for a bow, get power four, which would be good. But also maybe just a better time to go underground and see if I can get some ore resources. Um, let's see, dude, they're like, I just feel like I'm in a world where it's all birds. It's all a million different kinds of birds. What's up, cassowaries? You guys are similar to like emus and ostriches, right? I didn't think I was gonna run into you guys here. This is uh, exotic. I guess the mod is called exotic birds, so you know what? It makes sense. Where's my thing? I recognize that tree over there. I should be close. Ah, there's my house. I overshot it. Oh god, the mobs are gonna start spawning. Should I get some pigs, maybe, for a little bit of a food supply? I'm looking for spiders. That's kind of the one thing that I'd be interested in right now. One downside here, we don't have cork. I don't have the ability to just auto insert stacking items into chests. And uh, it's a little bit of a bummer. Um, it would probably be good to just kind of get a, a create chest started, I suppose, and go from there as he mixes it in with all the <laughs> trading cards and stuff like that. It, our, our base is probably gonna end up being set up in this general area, which I think is fine. This is a perfectly suitable, nice spot to kind of build up a home, nice flat, terrain and we'll definitely be able to build something super compelling actually though we have one more iron ingot and we have six iron nuggets which means if i smelt this we may be able to make shears never did i think it would be such a, a gamble trying to get shears but here we are i don't know, hold on to these onions and the carrots are gonna be my food source for now but actually it would be a good idea probably to start working on you know some kind of agricultural uh, food supply. So let's, I don't know, set something up next to the, uh, the coastline, or I could actually just set up a farm. Yeah, let's go. We got our three nuggets. This is so big. Resources are so scarce for us at the moment, but I got shears. Be able to get some wood going. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to hold this for now. Cause if I'm trying to farm outside at the moment, it's going to be just annoying. So let's, Let's run down. We're gonna end up breaking out a bunch of the track, probably as it collapses behind us. There, there it goes. There, <laughs> everything destroying behind us. But oh no 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 no! Oh god, you got oh freaking heck, bro! Stop! Oh god, if a creeper comes in right on top of me right now, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> well, I'm stuck in a pit. Hey, buddy! No 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 no! You don't need to. You see, you can just go back there, and we can just no 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 no! You don't need to explode because that would just get so in the way of my minecart track, and that would just be so silly. You know, I'd be so silly right there. All right, it's time for a so we back in the mine moment. As long as nothing collapses on me in very unpleasant ways, I need iron because I need a bucket real real badly. 
So what is this, by the way? This looks cool. Ruby ore from the thermal. Yo, I want rubies. That's awesome. And okay. So I just want to see there. I mean, there's a chance that I could have missed some frick. Chance I could have missed some stuff over here. Okay, that just dropped a good bit. <laughs> um, oh wait, is this there is a loot barrel? Ooh, more food. A gapple. Heck yeah. Uh, more torches will always be good. I don't think I need the activator rails. The ropes, I don't entirely know how to use. That gets us ender pearls, I believe, and the bat wing. Mmm, delicious. Some munchy, crunchy bat wings. Got anything cool in there? An, a blaze arrow ignites target nearby blocks on impact. Hmm, okay. Bro, wait. Oh, I thought it was diamonds. Dang it, dude. Bro, it's so echoey down here. It's kind of terrifying. I'm gonna actually, like, put some valuables into this chest so that... While I'm down here, I don't die and lose, you know, things that I worked hard to get, and then I can just grab and take this up afterwards. Like, carrying that book on me seems like a bit of a, a risk at the moment. Okay, all right. Well, we got some water to lead us down. Surely no creeper is just gonna, you know, get ready to frick us up as soon as I drop. Good to go, good to go. All right, I want that ruby though, bro. Back up, back off, back off. God, I should have, I should have gotten a shield. That would have been really nice. Man doesn't want to go in the, okay. All right, all right, we're good, we're good. Emerald ore. So let me, I was like, let me guess, it's gonna drop emerald nuggets or fragments or something like that, isn't it? And you're gonna, you're gonna make this as painful as possible. I don't remember what version of Minecraft we're in. Right, it says that we're in 1.16.5. So we aren't gonna have super gargantuan caverns going into the negative Y values. Um, but still, obviously the world generation does seem to be a little bit different. I've got an appetite for some of this right here. Is that diamonds? Yep. Yep. Okay. It drops diamonds normally. This is good. This means it's probably going to be easier to just get hold of like a set of diamond gear than it is for iron, which is kind of funny. I don't know. First step, I should probably just make a diamond pickaxe. Not the worst idea in the world. Let's do that. Easy peasy diamond pickaxe, dude. Episode one. Look at him go. He's truly popping off. Man, he really do be Minecraft and oh my goodness, he do be speedrunning. No one's gotten a diamond pickaxe faster ever before. Is this the XP or something? I forget what that does. Come on, no one blow up, no one blow up. No one's gonna, okay. Keep thinking everything is like too good to be true. But then I realize at the end of the day, this is like a, a tech mod pack. It's not about like, you know, fricking you up with traps and stuff when you're underground outside of, well, the tracks falling out from under you. What does this stuff do, I wonder? Luminous crystal. You smelt it into luminous. What do you do with the luminous? You make panels, blocks, and it's that. So it has something to do with trading cards somewhere along the way. Just trust me, it does. Really good spot to stumble across with the whole like underground mineshaft thing. Actually, hold on. I have just realized that I can I can do gamma adjustment. We're in 1.16. I can I can up it just a little bit. I'll probably do that for the next episode. I'm so used to now 1.18, 1.19, you know, they disallowed uh, gamma changes. I got another rubber ducky. You mean I wasn't super lucky with my rubber ducky? Aw, I thought I got the only one in the entire world and it was a sign of good luck to- Wow, you blew up abruptly. Ooh, runestone. Perhaps it was fortuitous. I don't know what that does, but it looks cool. Hopefully there's some more diamonds. It'd be really cool if we could get diamond armor or something. I'm trying to just trying to just stack up on some iron for now because if we can prioritize getting a tinker's smeltery up and running, then we, frick, water, oh god. Yeah, double skellies is gonna be not fun for the time being. I gotta get a, I gotta get a shield up. Okay, okay, okay guys, calm yourselves down. I really don't wanna get poisoned for an entire minute. I'm good. Let's not haul, oh, they're really, they really do be following. No, oh god, the frickin' not this stone! Frick! Oh god, he's trying, okay, 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 running low on food, running low on food. It might be time to frick, oh god, oh god, oh god, hold on, hold on, hold on, I can get out this way. I can get out this way, drop on top of the thing, avoid the witches. There we go, there we go, everything's good, everything's good, everything's good, there we go. Whew, yeah, that's right, witch. That's right. I was like, I don't have any extra food. I uh, brought the onions and put them in the chest. That was perhaps not the best approach, but um, we're good, we're good. I'm gonna take everything back up for a little pit stop. Let me check if there's anything that you can actually do with rubies though, like a chromatic resonator. That's kind of cool and fancy. 
can make molds, you can do stuff like that. There are these tools. So this looks like one of the tools that you can actually get inside of, I think it's the, it's either the bulletin board or the, yeah, the market where you can get some fancy looking tools where you pay and it makes them unbreakable or something. And I haven't used any of these before, so I don't know exactly how it comes into play, but... Oh, this had a blaze burner on it. So I was like, oh, maybe this'll, you know, I can do so anyway. It doesn't, doesn't look like the blaze burner has anything to do with that challenge. So, but in the meantime, what have we, have we gotten any of these? We haven't gotten any of this other than the millstone, but the melter will be a first step in the process for getting um, the, whatchamacallit, the Tinker's Construct stuff up and running. So something to work on. Anyway, let me grab the important bits here and I should have held on to the bread too. It's just gonna become like more and more of a mess with pitfalls every step of the way, the more that I travel on it and hit more blocks. Oh, what a disaster this is. I just wish that the track would like work up and down all the way. I don't know, whatever. Uh, of course it's raining. How about we get some doors on our house? Maybe that's not the worst idea in the world. Wow, look, a beautiful house. No leaks in the rain. God, I love the rain. Oh, hey, it stopped raining. That's amazing. You know, it'd be a good idea. I'm gonna go see if I can run and, and snag those sheep over there with my very limited food resources. Um, and then that way I'll have a bed. And that will really complete our home. God, I'm just eating all the food that I have. Toggle Sprint really always just like goes through your resources. Come here, sheep. Oh God, it's about to be nighttime. You are over in this direction, right? Why are there so few sheep? I don't understand. They've become a rare animal. All the exotic birds everywhere, no sheep to be found. Whoa, there's owl sounds. That's crazy. Yo, my sheep. How are you doing? I still need to get water. I keep thinking I want to jump down and I don't want to take extensive damage. I don't have a water bucket. Yo, is that only one? Give me more, give me more. Two, 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 two wool. Really, you guys, only one each. Seriously, please eat. Yeah, there we go, thank goodness. Oh, okay, now I get all the wool I could possibly ever want from a single sheep. Wow, this grass, it really grows their coats. Okay, this is awesome. And now we can just make a bed, get through the nighttime. I made an extra crafting table because of reasons and this is perfect and it's really gonna just like complete our house. All right, now I don't have to worry about the monsters quite as much, just the ones underground, you know? Just, just those scary ones underground. I've found pigeon eggs, cool. I, I haven't really looked into this mod at all. I don't know if like you find the nest and you just start incubating eggs in the nest or something like that and then magical things happen and you get a whole atrium full of birds and maybe they lay eggs that you can eat that are really nutritious. And that would be the payoff, I would hope, right? All right, but yeah, as much as I really hate to do it right now, I don't see many other alternatives to just having to smelt down some of this iron into nuggets. I need to get like a water bucket at the very least right now. And beyond that, I'll like try to conserve, but I, I do think it would be good to just kind of get like a basic farm going, at least get some seeds, hopefully, yeah, get some wheat growing so that we can get some bread. Um, That'll be good. So I can just like initiate kind of a basic farm outside of here. Also, I can put my bed down inside and then it'll be like, it's gonna be a real house, dude. I probably don't need the spare one of you. Here, perfect. Now it's a real home that I worked so hard on to make. Yeah, I, okay, it's got some the toast dubbing hazards inside of it, but but that's nothing I can't fix. There we go, less toast, less toast dubbing happening now, okay? Perfect, perfect. It looked a little bit like coins for a second. I thought I was mining some silver coins off the ground. It would have been real nice. Okay, one more, one more, and I can, no, I actually need 27 in order to make a bucket. This is the, this is the worst. <laughs> Getting nuggets. Oh my God, I can't even start my farmland until I've gotten 27. All right, there we go. It's bucketing time. Why couldn't they make it so a bucket recipe is three nuggets now that this is how we're gonna play it. All right, anyway, so I think this will probably be like the last task today just to try to establish the, the basics of some kind of renewable food source since that really seems to be weighing us down here a little bit. So let's just get that going and uh, start farming around it. And what is that? Demon's Dream Seeds. I thought for a second I was picking up um, cassowary poop. I'm kind of glad that it wasn't that, but also I don't know if Demon's Dream is, uh, is much better or not, but that's uh, something. All right, here we go. A little, bit of, a little bit of basic farming to start off with. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of setup that we've got to do in order to get a, um, 
you know, a nice healthy economy of lots and lots of resources brewing here. And I guess cabbages would be good. We're gonna end up with, you know, multiple farms probably with all, you know, same kind of resources. But for now, it'll look a lot like our one block initial farm island with, you know, just handful of crops mishmashed into a single place. Get rid of that. Has to look nice and square and symmetrical. I should get a fence around it too, but look at us with our beautiful rustic home and a farm and a bed and, and an easy accessible mine with just a few pitfall traps underneath. I feel like it's a, it's a good spot for us to have started. So hopefully you've enjoyed this first episode. Stay tuned because it may look like nothing, but eventually we will have a rocket ship that goes to the moon. So subscribe to the channel. More episodes soon. There will be a playlist if you want to catch those. Like the video and I'll see you in the next one.